Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. I've only recently become obsessed with System of a Down and specifically with surges of vocals. So I posted on our YouTube community page to ask y'all for some recommendations from Serge's solo career. And a ton of you recommended that I listen to his performance of Empty Walls with the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get to it. attention dismissive apprehension don't waste your time on coffins today when we decline from the confines of our mind don't waste your time on coffins today don't you see their bodies emotion of the orchestra, specifically the strings, and how that goes with the emotion in Serge's voice. Even their vibratos feel a little familiar to me, um, like their like heartbeat flutters. Um, I also just love the gravity that is presented in the orchestra in the beginning. I want to go back, back to the beginning. Oh, um, where is it? <laughs> Here we go. I have never been to a concert, an orchestral concert, where they had to have a wall set up for the audience. <laughs> I think that's amazing and hilarious and um, <laughs> very indicative of uh, how much more often we should probably have crossover. the severity, the gravity that you feel in the orchestra in this beginning, right? The strings and oh, especially the low strings, they give you this feeling of impending uh, darkness. And then the piano feels extremely expansive. And when that brass comes in too, it just, there's almost like a certain dread to it, which I think um, from having read the lyrics before, uh, I think it suits the lyrics, it, you have a sense of dread that war brings on. One more time. attention, dismissive apprehension, don't waste your time on mm. coffins today, when we decline from the confines of our mind, don't waste your time on 
coffins today. Don't you see their bodies burning? There's a lot of full of yearning, dying of anticipation, choking from intoxication. Don't you see their bodies burning? I want you to be. sing this one alone you're singing it with me <sighs> um there's man it's amazing how much emotion is in his sound it just gets me it's like he's a, a diamond in the rough i say that because the sound is i think it comes partly from the armenian heritage maybe from some folk tendencies there where the sound doesn't feel like polished in the way that you would think of a classical singer's sound being polished and said as he goes higher a lot of times I hear some soft palate drop a little bit of um nasality entering the sound uh it but at the same time it has this incredible flow so it just like feels like it's human like there's breath leaving the body and a vocal sound is being made with it and it's uh it feels very free I also feel extremely impressed by the way he's able to go through some very fast words with some very awesome rhymes and keep a line the whole time. Again, reminds me a little bit of an orchestra, um, the way a violinist might be moving back and forth very quickly, but still having a line of sound coming through. And you hear that in the the fast part. Um, Don't you see their bodies burning desolate and full of yearning? Wow. That's even written with really great stress in mind. I hadn't realized that just re reading it. Um, it's good rhymes and 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 stress. Um, da, 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 Not quite amic, amateur, quadrameter. Anyhow, um, I'm going to come back, listen to the line, and also to just, if you can, try to vibe with me on that sort of like raw quality that his voice has that's so perfect. I want you to be Oh, back further. See their bodies burn. Time. On coffins today. Don't you see their bodies burning? That's a lot of full of yearning. Dying of anticipation. Choking from intoxication. Don't you see their bodies burning? I want you to be. sing this one alone <laughs> singing it with me i really also dig the intensity of the orchestra building with them there uh, that helps that just carry the emotion and there's a subdivision underneath of one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two oh i think that's this like almost the same sort of flow that his uh rhythm of speech is going in but the orchestra is doing that as well ba 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 and that creates a feeling of running at first from the threes. It feels like it's kind of tumbling. And then since there's a one, two, instead of a one, two, three, one, two, instead of um, having like three threes in a row, which would be nine, eight, you've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that creates a feeling of um, tumbling and almost having an extra fall at the end. One more time, I'll go back with that. Don't you see their bodies burning? That's a lot of full of yearning, dying of anticipation, choking from intoxication. Don't you see their bodies burning? I want you to be left behind those empty walls. Don't you to see from behind those empty walls? I'm not gonna sing this one alone. You're singing it with me. When we decline from the confines of our mind, don't waste your time on coffins today. Don't you see their bodies burning? That's all I want to say that one more time. When we decline from the confines of our mind, don't waste your time. Coffins today. A lot of 
singers will work on really trying to even out different areas of the voice so they have a similar quality throughout. And I don't think he's been deliberate in trying to do that. It's more like, like I said before, there's a, a rawness to his voice, a unique quality, um, a certain natural approach to various registers where it doesn't sound like he's trying to merge all of them. Instead, he's just embracing what the sound for him maybe naturally wanted to do there. Or maybe that's coming again from that Armenian heritage. I'm not sure. But I really like the way he's embraced this sound and he's made it his own. It's just, it feels like this, there's a stamp of surge that's been put on anything I've heard him in that is so undeniably him. It's this signature sound. One more time from back there. I need to climb from the confines of our mind. Don't waste your time on coffins today. Don't you see their bodies burning? There's a lot of full of yearning. Dying of anticipation, choking from intoxication. Don't you see their bodies burning? So earlier he had a breath between burning as well. And I I wondered if it might have been that he'd run out of air. Um, <laughs> I was like, you know, singing the orchestra, sometimes people need to find a little more grounding. I wasn't sure. Uh, no, it was totally delivered. He's way too good for that. <laughs> uh, very interesting, too, that it's between burr and ning. And I heard intoxication and choking before as well. I think that this is alluding to maybe smoke being in the air and the difficulties it is to breathe with burning air essentially around you. That's my interpretation. There might be a different reason, but I think that's very deliberate and uh, yeah, a very expressive choice. Full of yearning, dying of anticipation, choking from intoxication. Don't you see their bodies burn? One of the things that he does that is so counter uh, classical training is that he goes for these really bright vowels and leaves them super bright on high notes. So B is a, it's a, an E vowel, which is considered one of the brightest vowels, right? E. And when you go high in classical music on an E vowel or even just in general, often classical singers will round their lips a little bit to make it a little bit not so bright, a little not so piercing. So instead of saying E, I'll say E. It's just a little bit different. Sometimes we'll go a little bit further on the top and drop our jaw so it's really altered a little bit more and go, e. that ends up making a better space for a more rounded approach to a higher note. Now, if you have higher pitch and bright vowel and you combine those things together, sometimes it can feel shrill or piercing. He doesn't shy away from that at all. So when he has to be, for example, He's really just going straight for it. It's very direct. It has a very palpable uh, harshness to it. Not like harsh, like harsh vocal harsh, but a uh, harshness in just the sound overall. And he leans into it instead. I want to go back. See, incredibly generous as a performer. This is my first time seeing him live. I've only seen the music videos since. Um, and the way he's pouring out, the way he's connecting with his audience, it just, 
She's so generous. I didn't know that before. Thank you so much for recommending this live version in particular. All of you who responded to that post on our page. Really appreciate it. From behind those empty walls, Auckland! <laughs> I love you yesterday. I think that's Darren from System of a Down. I'm not sure though. It might be it might be someone else uh, backing him up on on guitar and, and backing vocals here. I my guess is Darren, but I'm not sure. Don't you see their bodies burn? Come on! Oh, so interesting to hear a softer version of that just has a lot more airflow. And it sounds like the softer version also is um, kept inside a little more instead of being pushed right towards the nose with a little more soft palate drop. Um, when he starts to add more intensity, he increases that intensity partly by directing the resonance and the focus to be right in here a lot more. I'm going to go back a little more. There you go. It has more dome in the sound, it's darker. Let me go. Don't you see their bodies burn? Come on! Um, it's amazing the sustain in here. It it is intense. I love the way even in some bigger jumps you hear his voice extremely present. I like his breathing. He's very deliberate with his breathing. Oh man. The from He's got good support there. It sounds like he's just hollering that. And honestly, opera is just like sustained hollering. I really, I, I feel so impressed by the emotion. And it sounds like such a plea over and over. Oh my gosh. I mean, the words and just like wanting somebody to see all of the things, all of the terrible things that are happening in war. It's when I read a little bit about the lyrics here and understanding that the coffins were referring to uh, the press being directed not to show pictures of coffins. Uh, oh man, it just, I feel like it hits really hard. You can't be human and not feel the pain in this and the longing and the almost like a prayer that's being made. tears in my eyes. Um, I love the counter melody in the violin. I almost paused to say that earlier and I just wanted the emotion to be allowed to go. Oh my gosh, he is so expressive. I feel like just one of the main qualities that a great vocalist must have is the ability to conduct emotion. And he has that in spades. Left behind those empty walls, 
goodness that is overwhelming with emotion I just I feel so impressed I love having the orchestra with his voice I love seeing that juxtaposition of contemporary and classical and then hearing how they come together and make this plea oh beautiful thank you so much to everyone for this recommendation it was totally totally fantastic if you haven't seen our other system of a down analysis videos you can check them out in this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.